So what we're going to be looking at is the colour palette options for the Year Planner Maker. And to do that, I'm going to begin with by clicking on the Start tab and then Start button. This brings up the Year Planner Maker control panel. And you'll see that um, in the first tab of the colour options, there's two colour swatches, the green and the pink, that are already present in the chart behind. So to alter these colours, simply click on the swatch and then choose a different colour. I'm going to choose yellow and I'm going to choose blue. You'll see that the underlying colours change without you having to redraw the planner. This is because the macro changes the underlying palette of Excel. Now you might run into some issues on earlier versions of Excel and this is down to the limited colour palette that Excel has. There's a good chance that anything you paint out with um, the macro will, will be a macro colour which will be altered by the palette. We'll, we we'll might see the effects of that later on in the demonstration but it's something that can be overcome. It's not a huge issue. On later versions of Excel um, it's not so much an issue because of the bare colour palettes that these versions have. Another thing you can do is um, add a, a, a day of the weekend that's, all, that's going to be painted the same colour. For example, this blue. I'll enable it by selecting this option here and then pressing preview. This forces the chart to be redrawn. Make sure the horizontal layout is picked. And then press preview. And you'll see that blue is now running through. I want to change it to a different colour. Click on the swatch. Choose the colour. Click OK. A further facility is to highlight events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this dialog and then click on the events. Then I'm going to add in some more events to the list here. What I've got already is um, the UK public holidays of 2013 and 2014. I'm going to start by putting a new event in and it's going to occur here and it's going to be the 14th of October 2013 and that is the beginning of Bob's holiday and he's gone holiday for five days so I'll just use Excel's autofill to replicate that down and have the date increment automatically. The following week beginning the 21st of October 2013 we're going to give Anna a holiday and again I'm going to replicate that down for a week. Now to differentiate these two employees holidays I'm going to select the cells and then use the Excel color palette. Now it may be that you choose a color that's already in use, in which case your employees colors are not going to show up on the chart. However, we'll just pick some colors to begin with and see how we get on. Once I've chosen these colors I go back to the start tab and then press the start button to bring up the dialog. And then click show events and then show highlights to enable the option. And then press preview to redraw the chart. You'll see now that Bob and Anna's holidays are now showing up highlighted in October on the date specified. As well as the 2013 public holidays in yellow. So palette wise we're doing okay. I'm going to open the dialog, press start and then start button. Another thing we can do here is split the chart over two years. To do that you would go to this drop down and select any other month than January. So for example if I want to begin the, the chart on July 
the chart will now run as shown by the tabs from July to December 2013 and then run from January to June 2014. And the second tab has its own colour swatches. At the moment it's set to random colours. I think we'll just use the colours that are set here. I'm going to take off the red stripe for Monday and then press preview. So that looks like. You'll see that the color swatch is eerily the same. This is this color palette, but if I change that, it goes to pink. Yeah. So Bob Holiday is now pink. To get around this problem, go back into events. Select Bob's Holiday. Choose a colour that's not pink. We'll go back to this blue. Go back to Start, Start, then press Preview again. Close. And you'll see Bob's Holiday is now reverted to this blue that we selected. So this is just an issue with Excel. Earlier editions of Excel that have a limited colour palette. I have a sinking suspicion that this screen here for Anna's Holiday is the same as this screen here. We can test that by going into the second tab and then choosing a different colour for the green and seeing if it follows, and it does. So what we'll do is go back into events, choose these cells, and then pick a different colour from the palette, and then press preview. It's hard to tell if it's actually doing anything. I can assure you it does actually work. Don't you just love these demos that fail horribly? Let's choose a horrible colour. Dark purple. Oh, it's picked purple. What's up with the purple? That's another palette colour. That's obviously a palette colour. Let's choose a different one. Must be this mauve can't be used. Start. Mm. Don't know. Try it. Yay! So here we have the mauve that I picked. It's slightly different from this mauve here. That fortunately doesn't clash with anything else. Again, this is an issue that shouldn't really affect you if you're running Excel 2007 or later. But it's useful to air these things if you're planning on using this and wondering what the hell is going on. So. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter just to differentiate it. Yeah, that's looking okay. In fact, the only one I really want to change is that, but that's actually not too bad. What I'm going to do is make it too close to the one we've got. Make it that maybe lighter version. I don't know what we'll do. Oof. Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, with the colours set the way they are, I can then change the month, for example, if I wanted to start in October. Uh, and having that started in October, you'll see that the, the highlights follow and are plotted in the same dates. Another thing you can do is um, switch off colour for both, monochrome, monochrome. Preview, and you'll see the colours remain for the highlights. This is a really good way of picking out colour on a chart. Again, colour palette issues mean that we've lost the colours here. That's because we've turned them white. You can fix that easily by selecting random colours everything. Go back to January and then press preview. And Excel is not the smartest when it comes to picking colours. But you see that sometimes it can come up with colours that are not too bad. Anyway, 
That concludes my demonstration of the colour options for the Year Planner Maker 2013 edition. Thanks for watching and I hope you get some enjoyment out of it. Bye for now.